Hello and welcome to today's video and today's video is going to be about link lights and these are the T4 versions. I have three different sizes of these and two different types of the small one. So I think the first thing we'll do is we'll turn on the one that's currently connected which is the medium size one. I'll go into more detail about this light in a minute. You can see a T5 version in the background, but that one is only powering the T4. So um, first we'll turn on the T4 in three, one, two, three. Of course, these are electronically ballasted versions, so they are instant startup. So, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to move the camera to a blank wall and then we'll go and show all the information that's on these link lights. So I'll just pause the camera for a second. Okay, this is the first one. It is approximately 35 centimetres long or just under 14 inches. It only takes T4s. It's... Uh, 10 watt maximum it has a switch on this side and power in on this side as well and then it has a blank on this side which can be removed to add a cable or another link light this is the information that's on it item number 29156 uh, barcode 1 times 10 watt G5 T4, uh, specifically made in China for B&Q, and some other information on there as well. Uh, B&Q obviously is the um, equivalent of, should we say, the Home Depot in America. Uh, some other things, it's uh, CE rated, there's a little picture of a house, obviously for using in the home, mainly kitchens these are used in, and of course uh, the double earth symbol which is the two squares and a little recycled bin. So what we'll do is we'll show you the next one. You could say this is a more expensive version of the same light. This time it's uh, black and chrome. It's the same switch design and everything. I believe it's the same writing. Yep, there we go. And these tubes that these lights take are uh, these. There we go. I think it says can go. F10 T4 and some small little writing that's hard to read. I think it's got a date code there of 811. And the black one, because in the other light, these are light specially made. This one's got 711, and then the same bit of writing. So, um, as I said, these are about 35 centimeters long, or just under four inches. So what we'll do is we'll go on to the next size. Okay, this is the next size, and this one's slightly different. It hasn't got any writing on here, but these are approximately 48 and a half centimeters long or 19 inches. And this one only has writing on here, and it's completely different. Let's see if we can get that to focus. There we go. I write down the details on these on the actual. Bear with me just a second. Uh, this one's made by I think it's. I'm going to say external lighting, 230 volt, 50 hertz, MFRT16L. Uh, it says no serviceable parts inside yet. These are sealed. It's 16 watt T4, and it's got a little logo just there which basically I think is a time date and that's all that's on this light so 
what we'll do is we'll go to the tubes. I have two of these, like the one that's currently lit, which we'll go back to in a minute. There, there we go. White, uh, a bit more information on that. And they have a simple etch, these do. And again, a date code. T4 F16 3400K. So what I'll do is I'll now go to the largest one of the set. Right, now this tube is the one that's from the original light that broke. And I've saved it because this light fitting still works. But the basically this model basically stopped working. So I've got this tube basically as a spare. The tube and the light obviously is this version again with the better etch. And this is an F20 T4. And these are exactly one foot long. And that is approximately 57 and a half centimeters long so and there we go and I'll just get the light fitting and again this one has the writing here because this is the later one T4 20 watt max and there is the barcode and it's say specifically made or B and Q again with all the safety ratings on. So what I think we'll do, we'll now show you how you link these lights together and then we'll start linking some more up. Now the link cables you get are quite long. They're about, they're about a foot long and you have a, obviously a male plug on one side and a female plug on the other. And a length of cable. And then we'll pop. The only, sorry about that. Now, the obviously, um, you have to do things like this because obviously they didn't do a shorter one if you want these to fit in under kitchen cabinets. So, what we'll do now is we'll go back to the lights and connect some lights up. Okay, so I've now got them all back together. Uh, the black ones now have diffusers on them. And then as you can see, we are now linked. I've now linked them all together. So what I'm gonna do is turn them on. They're not all connected. We've got uh, the medium sized one working. There's the a larger one. And we also have two of the smaller ones. So uh, this is my small T4 link light collection. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn them off just for a second and then turn them back on. One, two, three. As I said, instant start up these. They're non-serviceable, so when they break, they break but they are very good lights, ideal for kitchens. In fact, I think we'll end this video with them in situ in the kitchen. They can either be linked together by pushing the lights together as in the two front ones, or using the cables. So depending on, obviously your under cabinets, you can, you can actually pick different sizes. So I think what we'll do is we'll turn these lights off one more time and turn them back on again. But what I'm gonna do, I'm also going to run the power meter as well. So, we can just 
check which lights are running what. So I'm not going to bother with the amps on this one. I might put it in the comments below. But the 20 watt light is running 20.7. The next size down is 16 watt one is just or 15.5 at the moment and one of the little ones the 10 watt ones is running about 10.3 so what I'll do is I'll just put these lights back in to the correct positions and then we'll I'll show them working. Right, so here they are refitted back in the countertop. That's the smaller one. And over here, there's the big uh what bigger one so um what we'll do is i'm going to say thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed this video and coming up in a video soon i'm going to show you these much older t8 versions of these link lights i've now got three of these this is the smaller one and this is uh the 15 watt version so um again i'd like to say thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video of these T4 link lights. Please like and subscribe. And thanks again for watching. Goodbye.